you know, we have people from one who have certain accounts claiming jailhouse strong. Let me tell you something, man. You guys on the road are not jailhouse strong. You synthetically jailhouse strong. You fake. Straight up and now. You want to know what jailhouse strong is? Jailhouse strong is when you were waiting to see your mother for about a year and then you get the opportunity to see her. And the woman that you saw before who was voluptuous, she's small because she's been diagnosed with cancer. You have to accept that. Jail, how strong is accepting things that uh, you, you know, being accepting things that you have to eat, right? And if you don't eat it, you will suffer. Okay, you will, will stop. Uh, jail, how strong is getting a letter from your girlfriend? She's telling you that I'm going on with life, and ain't nothing you can do about it. But accept that, straight up and down. Yeah. Jail, how strong is accepting the fact that you don't have free iron, so now you have to either use machine weights, which really don't activate enough muscle fibers, or do your own body weight in the form of calisthenics. Jail, how strong is basically learning or coming to the realization that you have to learn how to do push ups <laughs> without the bench press. And learning how to get your fat ass on the pull-up bar and learn how to do pull-ups. That's jailhouse strong. Jailhouse strong is basically learning how to do time and not letting time do you. Some of you guys who are swole are physically outwardly strong. But what are you like mentally when you have to realize that you've been put on lockdown and you have to eat after waiting 11, 12 hours just to come to the realization that you have to eat a fucking cheese sandwich with one pint or one quart of milk. And go to bed. And your dessert is some prunes. Can you survive that for all you tough guys? For all you guys in the real man that's all on social media lying to people? Telling people that you're jailhouse strong and you do calisthenics. When in all actuality, a lot of y'all are fucking taking Anavar, D-Ball, hmm, Tren. In prison, we didn't have that. See, in there, we had the above. The realization that I have to eat this and accept the fact that my baby mama or wife is with another man. That was the pre-workout. Straight up and down. And realizing that the light of the tunnel, I was going to be free one day. But we didn't have time on the rail to stay in the mirror and look at myself all day. Yeah, I built all of this right here from just doing dips. Not no bench press. Years. You know what I'm saying? Thousands, hundreds. Not no bench press. This is pull-ups. This is dips. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. Straight up and now. In prison. No steroids. No nothing. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing fake. Some of you motherfuckers, like I told you before, if you want to see real strength, the best bodies, guys who are 70, 50 years old, looking like they're 40 and 30, pass by a prison. Straight up and now. Not the ones in California. I'm talking about the ones in Houston, Texas. I did time in TDC, Texas Department of Criminal Justice. Look at them guys compared to some of you guys who take all kinds of shit. We didn't have bench press. Pull-ups, push-ups, dips. But our pre-workout, our pill, was a bad letter. The realization that I had to do time. <laughs> Eric Thomas can talk a good game, but put his motherfucking ass up in there. And let me see how much motivational talking he got. Straight up and now. Just saying. Ain't no hate though. 